transgressor got to the front okay immediately taken on by you watching me striding up getting on level terms and Dagachar cruise camp right behind those from Jack and Sam hugging the rail then candlelight star brackets is right off the track coming around the turn Sharia Moore was able to get up inside of horses followed further back by Roger the Roman at the 250 transgressor again reaches the lead but challenged by Agachar Cruz Agachar Cruz storm past him nearing the 150 races clear from transgressor Agachar Cruz opening up now and really running away from them late transgressor Jack and Sam candlelight star but Agachar true Cruz in a breeze Agachar Cruz won from transgressor or on the inside Jack and Sam and close up the grey candlelight star they were followed home by Sharia Moore Roger the Roman and you watching me bracket sat deep all the way weakening Mercurial Spur is back there and Dream Merger with it amongst the last in. Two good Agachar crews. Again, the money was spot on. Couldn't get to the top, so little Bundy Stone just settled it down running third. And uh, second up today off a very good run first up. Agachar Cruz has dominated them. Transgressor will be second to nose in front of Jack and Sam and to head away in fourth place, Candlelight Star. So Agachar Cruz saluting by Oratorio from Quite Surprised for DJ Cross and TJ Crouch. Trained by David Harrison, ridden by Taylor Stone. Second placing to 10, Transgressor by So Secret from Kabushka for Allen and Big at McAllister. Trained by Vaughan Sigley, ridden by Matthew Autier. And third is number eight, Jack and Sam, by Alert from Silver Mist for Paul Tapper, Nicky Jordan, trained by Paul Tapper and uh, ridden by Randy Tan. Now the time is 58.82 with that big tail win right behind them up the home straight. Too good for the Magachar Cruz with six wins now from 17 appearances and uh, has uh, paid $3.41.60. $1.90 transgressor and $4.30 about Jack and Sam. Now margins, a length and a half, a short half head, 34.07 is the last 600 there after the running of race four. The fifth event, the Tab Touch Masters handicap at 3.25 over the same trip and uh, no changes there to the next as we head back downstairs and it's a pretty blustery scene here as the winner comes back for Bundy Stone. Here's Adam. Yeah, David Harrison's hat might go flying in a second, but that was a really nice return. We thought the first up run after some time out was impressive, but seems to have gone on with it, David. He, he has, yeah. He was a big dropping class and um, yeah, I thought he won well. He, uh, she rode him very well. Um, thought he'd lead, but uh, it wasn't quick enough. So, yeah, it was a nice ride. So it did seem just to settle nicely through those early stages and adapt to the race because, as you mentioned, probably looked to be the speedy horse there, but some others did get away quicker. They did, yeah. Yeah, he just he probably jumped a little fraction slow, but um, the others gathered pace quicker than him. And, um, yeah, he's, but still, that's good. We got um, two... Two strings to his bow, that's good. As we said, it has been a while out, October 15 since last year. What have been some of the concerns and uh, how's the battle been getting this horse back to the track? Oh, no, he's, he's OK. We just sort of give him a little bit, nice little break. He had a long prep last time, so no, he's, uh, he hasn't got any problems. No. Stay around the 1,000 metres as well, for, as we've seen throughout his career? I think so, yeah. yeah. Now the strapping, it made a couple of us a little bit nervous. We know that Agachar Cruz always has that leg done. Was it flapping in the breeze? Is that what caught your attention in the mounting yard? Because I saw you following this horse and you were looking at it very closely. No, nah, the, the um, elastoplast was always going to be okay, but the um, coflex was, was obviously wasn't as um, new as what it should have been, and it was just come loose, yeah. Now, you're giving Taylor Stone the ride on Benito as well. You'll be hoping for a similar result and looks to get in nicely in the weights. Yeah, again, I thought he's a very fast horse, but he probably won't be able to lead this next race, but we'll, just, we'll have him in the first two or three and see how we go. Well done, mate. Best of luck. We'll grab winning jockey now, Taylor Stone as well. Taylor, a pretty nice pickup ride there. Yeah, you know, it was really good. The horse went... Really good. It's second up form, so it wasn't too great, but it won like it was first up, so it went really, really, went really well. As David mentioned, you're able to adapt through the early stages of the race. On paper, you're probably sitting in the lead or outside the leader, but it was just a few that were quicker away, so you just had to change your plans early? Yeah, you know, he was a little bit awkward out the gates, but I just sort of slotted in the 1-1 position and come top of the straight, just pulled out around him, and he loved it, just went for home. He kicked nicely at the top of the straight. A good opportunity for you as well, riding that one and Benito in the next for the Harrison Stable. Yeah, you know, thanks to Mr Harrison for giving me the opportunity, so it was um, really good, so thank you. Well done, best of luck in the next. Thank you.